Hello everybody, my name is Strategius Primus and I'm back with another episode in the Blackfire series. Damon's on the throne, we've thoroughly invested in our son Aegon, the seventh of Death Dragonstone, who will be Aegon the sixth of the Iron Throne. Let's just give everything a couple of days to get back to uh, actually being the Blackfire Sigil on things. There we go. My other son, Aemon the Unready, <laughs> is a uh, largely a damn failure, who's apparently engaged to marry my bastard granddaughter out of nowhere, because of course I'm not controlling the characters so they do that. That annoys me. Damn it, Aemon. Uh, he has been granted Blackheart, uh, which for those of you uh, more or less in the know, it is Summer Hall. That should be enough to uh, inform you guys to a Wikipedia page, at the very least. Um, we've been largely successful in actually keeping the realm together here. As I put the right kind of people back in charge. Pate. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is terrible today. And Florian Boggs. Let's we just sort of try to uh, coast with Damon here. Uh, he's 39. I think we're going to last quite a few more years with him, barring any uh, unexpected injuries. And uh, we've managed to successfully murder uh, Prince Marin of Dorne, so I'm not going to be continually bothered by him anymore. Uh, it's also a little bit of revenge for his part in the uh, support of the Targaryens. His daughter now might be a little uh, more willing to see it our way. As she is allied to us through marriage between her sister and my son, Ingies, who's a bit further than out of the line and a little bit less shit. He's fourth in line. After Hagon, who's amazing, other than he's, uh, well, uh, banging his sister, which, you know, usually Blackfire would encourage, but he's banging the wrong sister. <sighs> Damn it, guys. Anyway. Somebody's been abducted. We really don't care. Again, we're going to try to keep this on high velocity so we really don't have to worry about too, too much and see, you know, how long the Blackfires here can really stay in power. So somebody's trying to kill Damon. That's a bit of a nuisance to me. Uh, he's well out of line to the throne. He's the third in third in line of my sons, so, you know, if Aegon here ever actually manages to uh, get a successful uh, pregnancy with Daenerys here, uh, he'll he'll be significantly further. Uh, so I kind of don't care, but at the same time, getting your sons murdered out from under you is just, just, it just makes you look bad. So I'm going to propose he goes on a foreign tour, just to give him something to do, and to get him the hell out of court. I might propose that Hagon do similar. Why can't I? Uh, probably because he's a commander or something like that. Give me a moment. Hmm. Well, first things first, we need to get the one loyal Targaryen we've managed to keep sort of on our side. These are the children of Baylor Breakspear, um, who we've kind of taken over raising. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these guys. I'm going to try to keep them unmarried. I might send them to the wall eventually, or mercenary companies, or something like that, because uh, I don't really want the Targaryen legacy uh, sitting on our doorstep. Hagon is conspiring to kill his brother. Oh, really, guys? Really? Come on. Oh, that is hilarious. So, uh, Aryan Targaryen, who is known to be the maddest of the Targaryens, period, has successfully brought dragons back into this world. A young dragon named Night's Fire, who is fertile 
has come to the Targaryens. This makes things a bit interesting, largely because we've seen the Targaryen claims to the throne be rather discarded, as we still have Darren Waters, who's clearly not actually a Targaryen, uh, under lock and key. This keeps everything sort of uh, quiet for the moment. My son has man managed to get off the Pentos. Very nice. I mean, it's right there. Yeah, that's not very far. Ahem. <clears throat> a Nara hunter might fancy me. I mean, I am the king, uh, but da we don't know that Damon's Blackfire ever sired any bastards. Um, so I'm, I'm going to say it's not appropriate. Just because with these sorts of historical figures in Game of Thrones, their actions are a little bit clouded, because we see them through other characters, mostly. Um, you know, our, our best views of uh, Damon Blackfire come from two very opposing sources. One is uh, Eustace Osgrey here, uh, who thinks he's a hero, and uh, one's from Egg, who uh, knows him to be a traitor. Do we know which is which? No idea. Well, he did raise an army and try to take the throne and lost, so that kind of makes you a traitor. Well, he won this time. That makes him victorious now, doesn't it? So my uh, son's in Pentos during a civil war. That's just uh, amazing. <laughs> I'm going to tell the growers to calm the fuck down. Very good. Apologies for any interference they might have had. I had an itch. Now, um, we're just going to try to see what all Damon here can get up to in his life and see if the secession can continue in Blackfires. That, that event with the Targaryens uh, having a dragon might make this a bit more complicated. Kazarian is absolutely fucking useless, as I recall. Give me a moment, I'll find him. Do do do. I know I passed him twice already. Oh right, we won. He's a bastard. Here we go. Make our son Arian. You know, he only has three marshal without a dragon. With a dragon, that will put, put it to thirteen. We got this kid. He might have a dragon, but you know, he's a craven. Authoritative, gregarious, apparently honorable. That doesn't sound like him on a couple of these, but he's he's a nobody, and he's not very good at his job. There's a reason he was never king. I'm going to teach Damon Royce to inspire his own men, and I need to bring forth the greatest knights in the realm right now. To uh, fill up my king's guard. This guy sounds amazing. Strong and formidable fighter. Nothing to me, really make me not want to own my king's guard. I'm, you know, slothful. But I'll take what I can get. Probably because if he wasn't slothful, he wanted to be, go be a lord. Uh, Damon Royce is improving. Who trickster? And then, poof, Damon Royce is becoming quite the commander. I'll keep an eye on him. He is the heir to Runestone, so this will all do him well. Again, I was very tempted uh, when we were stripping the veil off the errands to hand it to the voices, but they didn't exactly join us, so I was going to honor the ones who actually did the Battle Wars. Lock them in the stock, it doesn't really matter. Again, Daemon's trying to keep the realm together here, uh, as the realm's just gonna put entropy upon us. I'm going to appoint uh, the Lannister as an advisor, largely because he's shit, but he's very powerful. I have to say, call for a physician at once, or else I will not be informed of the rest of the Targaryens who are in Blackfires who are taking ill. And even though these sisters and half sisters don't really matter, the rest of them do. Namely, I want to keep an eye on. Uh, well, A, Princess uh, Gwyneth Rivers here, who 
has legitimate children, and B, a certain blood raven who's apparently called off his uh, assault on us. Ah, he's moved on to Tall Trees Town, which is in the Summer Islands. Way down here. Do your house proud. He's on a booze cruise across the world, really. Um, no, mm, ah, mm, do I really want the Targaryens to continue? Um, I mean, he is distantly related to the, uh, air quotes, last Targaryen. Um, he's second in line. I will not grant him permission. Just because I want to make sure that the Targaryen line dies off. Because it's her best bet to continue to survive. Again, I don't care about these ones so much. Actually, this one I moderately care about. Because this Joffrey Sunglass will have a decent climb. Privations, who? Huh. So apparently the Dendarians uh, no longer control Blackhaven, as now the Peasburys have taken it off of Baratheon. I don't know what exactly happened there. I'm sure somebody a little more astute in watching might uh, uh, let me know in the comments. I do not remember. Probably because I was trying to win a war at the time. He wants the Eggins under him. Yeah, sure. Enjoy. Just to um, see if there's any other Bellman. Nope. Good. This man is serving my son in Summerfield. He's not bad, but uh, my son needs him more than I do. Ooh boy. The Stormlands are having yet another civil war. Easy now, Baratheon. Thank you. And I'll give him Peasberry back, but he's most certainly not getting uh, the Blackfire. Oh. Dragon's been to no one. Alrighty, another advisor. Position in need. Well, the Malister is actually not a bad idea, neither is Dorn. I could use another loyal, uh, so that's how they, mm, the Malister is powerful, more powerful though. Let's put him on. It's not like I'm about to lose the uh, loyalist faction here. Your daughter was born to Aenys and his wife. Yeah, Sarah is fine. Right, because the Martells at the moment are half Targaryen. Interestingly enough, well, half of whatever Targaryens pass for Targaryens these days. As, you know, directly marrying down doesn't mean you're actually fully Targaryen. But that's a discussion for a different time. We're at a joust. Let's go. Oh, no. Strike! Hit! On his ass, come on. Yeah, here we go. Kicked his ass, and now it's Corbury again. <laughs> Corbury and me just continue to go at it in these jousts. I think it's the game trying to tell me, hey, in the real world, uh, y you two should have, uh, you know, killed each other. Uh, no one can beat me. Who? Well, I should beat him. And here's Arian with his dragon. He now actually has his weak claim, which means, oh no, he just has a weak claim because he has a dragon, apparently. Great. Sir Janus was on horse. Who's the Bracken? That's why Wilbert here is uh, being amazing. And of course, I have to now fight the newest member of my Kingsguard. Hit. Fine hit. Oh, I'm doing good this one. Some more prestige, and I actually want to joust. Ha. That's right. Alrighty, the Lady of the North. 
whose name is Stark, is going to marry Arian here. I accept that most thoroughly, because it will put a black fire uh, as king in the north. Not people who respect wealth. And I respect relations that get me Lord Paramount sees this easy. Usually the game is better about this, but she's already been disinherited. And there appears to be a slight bug, because it should discount her from uh, the inheritance here. So it should have already bounced over to uh, Black Sword here. But for some reason, she's uh, been put in power. Don't know what exactly is going on. I'm on a slightly out of date version of the game. I've been considering updating, uh, but that would mean the series would die out, and I am not doing that anytime soon. Patrick. Patrick Derry is still Lord Commander of the Lights. Watch. I believe he has been this entire time. All some ten years of this. My half brother, Sir Brendan, has been growing weaker and is dying in the bloody flux. Good. Of course, it will come. Parties are good after all. It's not like I'm about to be a red wedding anytime soon. Ha, ha, ha. ha. Actually, if I get red wedding, then this will be hilarious. Um, do nothing for now. But yeah, Blood Raven will be a problem if he actually gets over here, especially if he joins someone who actually has a dragon. Um, that would actually give me a problem. My daughter-in-law is technically a member of the royal family. Ah, I know just who to send. I can send Wilbur here and she'll be fine. Uh, up Cliff and, yeah, you know, I mean, he's a good young villain. Uh, we can send Bracken. Uh, I don't really want to send uh, the best of the King's Guard away, so I'm going to send Upcliff just because I like his name. <laughs> and that sigil's awesome. I mean, look at that. Apparently, gone back to Witch Isle, which is where the Upcliffs are from, for those of you less in the know, which is out over here past Runestone. I think they added this uh, since the last time I really heavily started playing this. It is a lovely little island, though. If you're ever playing an Ironborn and really need to raid something, I do highly recommend. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I just sent her someone, but he went to his home and not there. God damn it. Alright, Bracken. I'm not sending her Corbury if Corbury's just going to desert on me. I've become friends with the Bogs. Excellent. Anyway, I'm going to call this here for this episode. I will see you all in the next time.